All right, so maybe you're in a situation where you're needing to mirror your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac to a Roco stick. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process in how to do this. Before we begin, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you can get notified for future videos. I'd love to have you back in the next one. Well, hey guys, Juan here. Thanks for stopping by my channel and checking out this video. So in today's tech video, I'm going to show you how you can take this guy right here. This is a Roco Express Plus and how you can mirror any type of Apple device to your TV, making it uh, very easy for productivity or um, you know, maybe just wanting to get some bigger screen real estate whenever you're watching something on your iPad, your iPhone, or if you're working off of your MacBook. Now I made a highly popular video on how you can mirror your Apple device to a Samsung TV, but what prompted me to make this video was there are some people who didn't have a, a newer Samsung TV in order to do this. Well, if you have any kind of TV, whether it be like a dumb TV or an older model TV, you can use a Roco stick to achieve the screen mirroring process. So I went out and bought this Roco stick here. Now this isn't the cheapest Roco stick here. This is the Roco Express Plus. They do have one that's a little cheaper, but I'll tell you why I went with this one instead of the cheaper one. Uh, this one here has uh, a remote that's got a power button on it so you can turn your TV on and off and on the side you can control the volume. The reason I did that is because I hate having two remotes. I hate having to turn the TV on with one remote and then use the Roco remote to turn down the TV or, or uh, turn it off. I like to do it all with one remote so that's why I spent the extra like 10 bucks. Uh, to go from the cheapest Roco stick to this one here. Uh, now they do have other higher tier Roco sticks, but you don't need that to achieve what I'm looking to get. Um, this TV here is a 1080, it's a 1080 HD TV. It's not your 4K or your QLED or anything like that. So it's kind of a cheaper uh, TV, but it does broadcast in 1080 HD. So I didn't need those extra uh, tiered um, Roco or Roku, Roku however you say it, I didn't need those extra um, more highly popular you know, 4K streaming Roco sticks or Roco um, devices. I went with this one here. So if you're looking to do what I'm teaching you in this video, this is the best one to get right here. So I'll link this in the description down below of where you can get it. But let's go ahead and dive into the process and how you do this. All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is grab your remote and grab your iPhone, your iPad, or your Mac device. Okay, so we're on the Roco uh, screen saver screen. We're gonna go ahead and hit home, take you to the home screen. First thing you wanna do is go over to the settings bar over here on the left-hand side, and you're gonna wanna make sure that you're on the latest system settings software. So you're gonna go to system, and you're gonna go to system update right there. Now, as you can see, I am on 9.2.1 uh, is what I'm on. So that's the latest on this one as of today. Um, I just um, up or got this installed. So that's the latest software update as according to this video. So you want to make sure that you update now um, and make sure you're on the latest system update. All right. So next, you're going to want to go. Here, let me take you back home as if you were doing this from the beginning. Go back home, go to settings. Okay, go down to system, and then you're gonna go over here to screen mirroring, and then click over. All right, so it takes you to the screen mirroring over here on the right-hand side. You'll see where it says prompt, uh, so that way when a device tries to cast your TV or screen, a prompt on your TV screen will ask you to confirm, or you can go to always allow, uh, so that when a device tries to cast your TV screen, it will automatically be connected, or you can go to never allow. So uh, what we're trying to achieve on this is to screen mirroring. So we want either prompt or always al allow. <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and select prompt. Okay, next up, you're gonna wanna go to your Apple device here. So I'm, I'm on my iPhone and let it focus in. Okay, and then download the Roco app if you haven't got that installed already. Go ahead and download that and we'll open it. Okay, now it says easily cast your photos video and audio to a connected Roco device on here. 
Um, just so you know, this is like the, as soon as you open it up, this is um, kind of like a home screen, but down here on the bottom right, there's media, and then that brings up this screen here, uh, mirror. So we're gonna go ahead and hit connect. Now it's recognizing that I have two different Roku um, devices in my house. So I'm gonna go to that second one there. That's my the Roku Express Plus that I was talking about. <clears throat> so tap on that. Now it takes media on the Roku. So we're gonna go to videos. We're gonna give access, allow access to the photos, and it's loading. Okay, so it's got all my photos on my phone here. So I'm just gonna pick one that I just took a random one of my cat um, I recorded for the purpose of this video here so it says loading video retrieving and voila this is the video I took on my phone of my cat playing with a nerf dart and now it is projecting right here on the TV easy peasy all right so yeah that looks pretty good I mean that was the short little clip that I took and it's projecting right on there Okay, so that was a super simple way of how you can mirror your iPhone or any type of uh, Apple device to your Roku Stick TV or your Roku, your Roku TV or your Roku Stick. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I make tech videos all the time and I'd love to have you back in the next one. And that's my dog. <laughs> so alright, until then, get out there guys and be creative.